It's good to see so many, uh, so many different people here from so many different uh, ethnicities. Very diverse crowd. Looks like you thought Bernie Sanders was gonna come out in this motherfucker, but surprise, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, I'm happy really to see black people come. You know, a lot of black people don't fuck with me like they used to. But there's a lot of reasons, a few reasons you don't see black people at my shows. One is because obviously black people have slower internet connections. Um, <laughs> I mean, that would be my guess. I'm just, I don't know what... my own actions drew a wedge between me and the community I hold so dear. A couple of weeks ago, I was supposed to be in Flint, Michigan for a, um, for a charity benefit that was supposed to raise awareness for the appalling condition of the water in Flint. I don't know if you know this, but the water in Flint is fucking poisonous. It's actually making people sick. I mean, Hollywood people like to sell what? At least they have water. But this water... <laughs> water's fucked up. So a lot of black celebrities flew into Flint and they did a, 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 a tremendous charity benefit uh, and I was uh, on the schedule to appear. Uh, <laughs> so the reason a lot of people haven't heard about this benefit, it was the same day as the Oscars. Right, I know. So I was on my way to the airport to go to Flint, and then Chris Rock calls me and is like, hey Dave, I got a ticket for you for the Oscars, can you make it? And I was like, sure nigga, I'm on my way to the airport right now. <laughs> oh come on man, what am I gonna do about that water? What am I, a fucking superhero? I need to have fun. I need to live too. I didn't fuck that water, huh? <laughs> Stevie Wonder was there, they didn't need me. I'm sorry, everybody. I've never been to the Oscars. You've seen the movies I make. <laughs> I was excited. As I knew I was going to get in some trouble because when I was walking in the red carpet, uh, the black press came after me. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. You so when you hear somebody call you brother too much, something terrible is about to happen. Excuse me, brother, brother. And then I looked back and the motherfucker had a tuxedo with the kente claw tie. I said, uh-oh. He said, I just want to ask you a couple questions. I said, well, what publication are you with? He said, me, I'm with the Daily Bongo. I said, Daily Bongo? What the fuck? Who the fuck reads this? He said, listen, brother, I just want to ask you a quick question. Um, you understand that this year, this is a, a, a boycott for the Oscars. So I'm just wondering what made you, of all people, cross the motherfucking picket line and be here tonight. I said, boycott? Nigga, I haven't been working in 10 years. What do you mean, boycott? I've been on strike, y'all niggas didn't stop working. I had to watch fucking Key and Peele do my show every night. Daily Bongo is what I said. I went to Oscars and had a wonderful time. I went to that fucking green room. It was filled with so many stars. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. Hollywood was seducing me all over again. <laughs>